Today on Rappler. China rebukes the United States' involvement in the West Philippine Sea issue. Bypassed Social Welfare and Development Secretary Erwin Tulfo is absent from the last Marcos cabinet meeting of 2022. TV personality Daphne Oseña Paez is Malacanang's new press briefer. Pop superstar Justin Bieber calls H&M merchandise featuring his image trash. The Metro Manila Film Festival Parade of Stars returns. Ben and Ben addresses fans' complaints about its homecoming concert. And Drag Den creators say the show never tried to copy hit show Drag Race Philippines. China condemns the United States over its latest move to back the Philippines against the continued presence of Chinese vessels in the West Philippine Sea. The Chinese embassy spokesperson in the Philippines says, quote, We strongly deplore and firmly oppose the statement issued by the U.S., adding the unfounded accusations attempt to stir up troubles and drive a wedge between China and the Philippines. This comes in response to a statement issued by the U.S. Department of State where it called on China to respect the international law of the sea and its legal obligations in relation to the historic 2016 Hague ruling. The U.S. issued the statement five days after the Philippines' Department of National Defense expressed great concern over China's continued presence. The Chinese embassy insists China and the Philippines have stayed friendly for thousands of years. Department of Social Welfare and Development Secretary Erwin Tulfo is absent from the 13th cabinet meeting of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., the last for 2022. Ulfo, who was bypassed for a second time by the Commission on Appointments, tells Rappler he is on leave. For the meeting, New Palace briefer Daphne Oseña Paez says department heads presented the key accomplishments of their agencies from July to December and their programs for 2023. The DSWD is not among those which presented during the Tuesday cabinet meeting. CA members bypassed Tulfo because of citizenship issues and a libel conviction that was upheld by the Supreme Court in 2008. Tulfo does not comment when asked by Rappler if he had discussed his reappointment with Marcos. Ad interim secretaries can only be reappointed two times if they are bypassed by the CA. TV personality Daphne Oseña Paez joins Malacanang's communications team as its quote-unquote press briefer. Oseña Paez says she would be the point person for the media for weekly updates. My role here is to amplify and to communicate the message of uh, President Marcos and the cabinet and the government. Former Office of the Press Secretary Head Trixie Cruz Angeles, a lawyer once suspended by the Supreme Court, fulfilled the same role until she resigned in October. Oseña Paez started her career as a news reporter but made a name for herself as a lifestyle TV host on the show F on ABS-CBN. Oseña Paez's family immigrated to Canada in 1983. Under Ferdinand E. Marcos, her father was officially assigned to the Philippine consulate in Canada. The TV host publicly supported Marcos during the 2022 presidential election. Pop singer Justin Bieber lashes out at clothing company H&M over clothes featuring his image and lyrics, saying the Swedish fashion giant had not obtained his approval. In an Instagram story, Justin says the merch H&M made is trash and encourages his 270 million followers not to buy it. In a written comment to Reuters, H&M says it followed proper approval procedures. H&M is the world's second biggest fashion retailer. Its online store offers hoodies, t-shirts, and sweatshirts with pictures of Bieber or quotes from his lyrics like I miss you more than life from the song Ghost. The Metro Manila Film Festival Parade of Stars makes a comeback. The yearly MMFF tradition is a parade of floats inspired by the films competing in the festival that year. Actress and singer Nadine Lustre and the cast of Michaela Red's The Leader take part in the event with her float decked in red to match the thriller film. TV personality Vice Ganda waves from the Partners in Crime float alongside his co-star Ivana Alawi. The float for the movie Mama Sapano, Now It Can Be Told, features a giant toy soldier whose arm can mechanically salute, while the labu with an accent float resembles an airplane flying amid the clouds. MMFF 2022 will run from December 25 to January 7, with the awards night set for December 27 at the New Frontier Theatre in Quezon City. Here are more scenes from the parade.
local folk pop band Ben and Ben addresses complaints about its homecoming concert at the SMDC Festival Grounds in Pasay City. Attendees complained of long lines, poor security, lack of health protocols, improper segregation between sections, and lack of food options, among others. Some also demand refunds from concert promoter Ovation Productions. Ovation Productions issues a statement apologizing for the fiasco and explaining the challenges it encountered the night before, from prohibition of adding extra signages to the closure of some points of entry due to construction. The band apologizes to those who experience stress, saying that it will be more vigilant with the planning and preparations of its concerts to ensure that what happened won't happen again. Drag Den creator and director Rod Singh says the show never tried to be a copy of Drag Race Philippines. Drag Race Philippines had the advantage of gloss, a well-loved format, and a vast library of references to draw from, apart from the stamp of approval from the ultimate drag mother RuPaul. Singh says from its inception, the show has always had its own identity based on the Philippines' unique drag culture. We don't want to be a copy of of something because we can be original kasi meron naman tayong sariling um, culture, drag culture, queer culture. So might as well, mas, mas doon ako mag-focus. Um, she adds, the format is inspired by pageants and barangay beauty contests. Singh says, aside from having distinct styles of drag, the queens they chose needed to be well-respected by their fellow drag artists. Alam mo na kahit sino sa kanila, uh, magiging proud ka na sabihin mo na uh, they represent uh, members of our community. Dragged in episodes drop every Thursday on Amazon Prime Video. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.